Ow, 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 ow. How bloody is it? It's not even that bad. It's pretty freaking deep, though. Look at my hand. Well, you deserve it by trying to get into it like that. This is what happens behind the scenes when I'm trying to prep for making a tattoo gun. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make a tattoo gun out of an electric toothbrush. What you will need, an electric toothbrush. You're also gonna need some sort of tape. As always, I am using electrical tape. You're also gonna need a spoon. This spoon has already been broken and prepared, but you're gonna need a metal spoon. You're gonna need scissors, fingernail clippers, preferably two pair of these. You're also gonna need a big ballpoint pen and also a click pen. Let's begin. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take apart our electric toothbrush. We're gonna go ahead and pop the batteries out like so, taking the top off and then the rest of the toothbrush. Like I said, we did some prep work before this video. Now I need to tell you folks, this is not an easy tattoo gun to put together by any means. Hence the bandage on my wrist here. But I'm gonna show you how to do it. Whether you create this gun or not is okay, but you will learn a lot of other things along the way. So I guarantee this is a video you definitely wanna watch. We've taken apart our electric toothbrush. The most important thing in this entire process is this thing right here. This is the motor. But we also need this right here. This is what connects to the batteries and the motor making the motor spin. We're also gonna need this battery housing case. So keep that as well. Motor, battery connections, batteries, and battery housing. The rest of this stuff, we don't even need it. The first thing we need to do is take our motor and stick it back inside of the battery connector. You're gonna see there's gonna be a piece right here that's gonna connect to this little piece right here. And then this piece on the front has to touch the actual motor. But the problem is, when you touch these pieces together like so, the motor is elevated inside of this little housing. So we're gonna need to stick something in there to keep that motor elevated. What we're gonna do is take our old trusty tissue. There's gonna be a few things in this video that I forgot to mention you're gonna need in the beginning. I apologize for that. So we're gonna take some tissue and we're gonna build us, so we've got one sheet of toilet paper and we're just gonna fold this up. We're gonna put a lift kit on this tattoo gun. So that's what we're doing. We're gonna take that tissue and we're gonna set it right there on top of our battery connection situation right here. Can you see that? It's just gonna sit right there like so. And that's only because we need something that's gonna lift up the motor once we put the motor back on here. So when we put the motor back on, everything is gonna connect and the motor is not gonna drop down. We've got this piece right here touching the side piece and this piece right here is touching that just fine. Once we've done that, we need to go ahead and secure all of this. And the way we're gonna secure all of this is with our good old trusty electrical tape. So let's go ahead and take a good little piece of electrical tape, some scissors that actually work, snip, and with our lift kit and our motor situated on these battery connectors, we are gonna tape this down. Now the one thing I gotta mention as we're doing this is that once this tattoo gun is connected all the way, this gun is just gonna run continuously. So we've taped our motor to our battery connector like that, and voila we have the motor working with the connection to the batteries. With that out of the way, we can now focus on the next step. We need to remove this offset that comes with the electric toothbrush because we're gonna have to put a different offset on here. The easiest way to do this is to take a screwdriver, something else I forgot to mention, you're, you're gonna need a flathead screwdriver or something like a butter knife, a knife, just make sure you don't Cut yourself wide open in the process of trying to do this. Stick it underneath here and we're gonna pop that right off. Now we can pull that off and now we have this. With that done, we can now focus on the next step of creating a tattoo gun out of an electric toothbrush. Next, we're gonna need our spoon. Now obviously I've already broken this spoon, but this is what you're gonna go for when you do get your spoon. You're gonna wanna bend it in an L shape and break off the actual spoon piece. Once you've done that, we are then going to secure our spoon to our motor. We're not gonna worry about the battery part just yet. We're gonna leave that for last. We're gonna take our tape and we're gonna secure our spoon to our motor, making sure that it is flush with the top of the motor. We've got our spoon connected to our motor now. 
The next thing you're gonna need is your big pin. We're gonna take our big pin apart, and the first thing we're gonna do is we are gonna cut the ball out of the end of the ball point using our fingernail clippers. Simply grab the pin like so and cut. Boom. We have removed the ball from our ball point. Next, we're gonna remove the entire cartridge from the ball point. Just take all of that out. Put that off to the side. We need to cut our pin in half. So we're gonna take our scissors. We're just gonna, we don't have to cut through it. We just need to score it. So just take it, score it, like so, and snap it. We are gonna secure that half of the ballpoint pin to the top of the spoon right there using our tape again. As you can see we've used a good amount of tape to secure our pin barrel to our spoon. That's gonna to add to the sturdiness of our gun. Once we've got that part completed, next we need to take our ink cartridge out from the tip of our ballpoint and empty this. The easiest way to do this is to literally blow this ink out of this ink cartridge. Do it on a piece of paper, do it somewhere, and let this sit straight up draining. So you'll blow it, let it drain onto a piece of paper. This process is gonna take a little while, but just do this now, let this thing drain. Also, the tip of our ballpoint, we're gonna wanna clean this out. So your best bet is to run this under some sink water with some soap. Once this is clean, this is gonna be secured to the end of our pin barrel, just like it is on the regular pin. And this is what our needle's gonna run through. The next thing we need to do is we need to build an offset. This is what's gonna drive the needle. It's gonna be connected to this piece right here. We're gonna take our empty ink cartridge and we are going to literally chew the end of this. Now what we're doing is we're biting this and the reason we're doing so is because this will fit on here but placing our paper clip on here as well it's not gonna fit. It's gonna be a pain in the ass. So the easiest way to do this is to loosen up the end of this ink cartridge and biting it is gonna do so. We're actually gonna be stretching it as we bite it. So you can see it's getting fatter at the end and we're gonna actually cut that off. We're gonna cut the end of that off right there and this piece right here that we've cut off, we're then gonna bite it again to make it round-ish. We're gonna take a piece of paper clip. We've had a paper clip. We've cut a piece of the paper clip off, about yay big. We're gonna slide the paper clip onto there like so, and then we're gonna press this whole thing on there, just like that. And when this spins, this is gonna drive our needle back and forth. Now some folks would like to use a button for this, but the thing about the button is, is that when it goes around, it's actually looping the needle in too much of a in and out fashion. You really want the needle to only go in and out just a little bit. When you have too much looping action via whatever you're using for your offset, that's what's gonna cause your needle to get jammed up in the end here. So less looping action like we have here is gonna help prevent our needle getting jammed up in the end here. We need to make a needle now and that is where our click pin is going to come into play. Now I've talked about click pins in other videos using the springs out of these. We're going to bust this click pin here. God we made a mess. And inside these click pins there is a spring. You're going to want to use a click pin that has a spring that's not like a gigantically thick spring. So this click pin spring is really thin. This is going to be perfect for us making the needle. And I'm going to show you how we're going to do that. We're going to stretch out this spring using our fingers at first, just pulling it apart until we have this thing pretty well stretched out. You're going to need to find something that you can use to hold this. I'm going to use two pair of fingernail clippers for this. I don't know if you have two pair of fingernail clippers. If you don't have two pair, you're going to need to find something that you can use to hold this. I don't have any idea what that would be other than two pair of fingernail clippers. But I'm gonna hold one end right like that. I'm gonna hold the other end right like that so I can pull the spring. And then I'm gonna use fire. I'm gonna use this lighter right here. Jessica's hand is actually gonna help me in this. And I'm gonna hold this spring over this fire like so. And as it gets hot, it's gonna literally straighten this needle almost perfectly. Now I'm moving this needle back and forth pretty quickly because I don't wanna get it too hot. You don't want it to be red hot until you're ready to pop it. So as I'm running it back and forth, I'm stretching at the same time, not too much, but just enough to get it completely straight. Once I'm ready to pop this needle, I'm gonna hold it in one place, and I'm gonna pop it. And what that's gonna do is, you okay, baby? Mm -hmm. You sure? Yeah. 
<laughs> Jessica actually just got burnt helping us make this video. I damn near slit my wrist and Jessica just got burnt. So be careful when you're doing this. What we've done is we've got a pretty decent point on this spring. And look at that folks, look how straight that is. That's a pretty good needle, right? And it's already relatively sharpened because of popping it with the fire. We're now ready to feed our needle through our barrel and we're gonna take this part off first. What we're gonna do is, we're gonna feed our needle through our barrel just like so. And we're gonna loop it. We've got a, just a little hook on the end of it. We see that's where it needs to be looped at. And we're gonna use our fingers and we're just gonna press that loop in further. Looping these needles is not an easy thing to do. It's also sort of a pain in the ass, but this is how you do this. If you had a little more needle to work with, this would be a little bit easier because you can pull the other end, but I don't. So I'm just using my fingers. So that's how small our loop is right there. It could even be even smaller than that, honestly. And that's gonna take away the wiggle room in our needle. The tighter the loop on the end of your needle also helps less wiggling. So there, we've got a absolute itty bitty loop on the end of this needle. It fits on our offset really well. Now how do you prevent this needle from popping off of this offset when you're running your gun? Well the easiest way to do that is before you even run your needle through your barrel, take a single piece of tissue, tear it in half, fold it in half, and let's wrap our needle up in this tissue. Wrap it up tight. This is gonna be almost like a little shock absorber inside of our barrel, which is gonna prevent that needle from doing a whole lot of bouncing around on the end of that offset. This is going to really help you keep your needle in place while you're tattooing. Needle wrapped up. Let's go ahead and feed that through just like so. We'll stick our needle on the end of our offset and let's just test and see if this thing runs. Battery pack. Oh, she's bouncing around in there, folks. That needle's flying. Next, we'll go ahead and clean up this needle real quick using some flame, making sure that's clean. Obviously, you're going to want to clean this needle better than that, but I'm just doing this because lighting your needle on fire is a major safety precaution when it comes to when you're actually tattooing and preventing infections. Again, you're going to want to clean up your needle better than this, you know, using alcohol, using anything that you can to clean it, but what I'm doing is I'm just showing you how to make this tattoo gun out of this electric toothbrush. And if you've seen my other videos, you already know that we talk about how to sharpen needles, how to clean your needle in preparation for tattooing. We've put the end, we've actually taken the ballpoint piece out because it's gonna make it easier for us to get our needle in. So we've put this part on. We're now gonna take our ballpoint and carefully, carefully figure out. That was kind of a pain in the ass getting the needle through this. Just the easiest way to do it is just be patient with it work the needle through there. You might have some hassle as you're you know, trying to get it through, but just find out where it needs to go. If need be, you can always take the end piece, the actual ballpoint tip out, and then slide this together one, two, three. Whatever works better for you. Luckily enough, I was able to get that through there. Now obviously we have way too much needle hanging out. What we're gonna do to adjust our needle is actually pull this piece back out a little bit Slide that piece back in a little bit. And I mean, this is really how you can adjust how much needle you have coming out. Now always remember this. How do you check how much needle you have coming out? Push your offset all the way forward. Pushing your offset all the way forward, you're gonna see how much needle you have hanging out. That's a heck of a lot more needle out the end than when this offset was all the way in the back. So let's adjust that. Now if this is too weak, if you feel like this is just gonna be too weak, you can always adjust your barrel, pushing your barrel more forward. I'm not gonna go through all that right now because I'm just showing you how to construct this gun and how much needle you need really hanging out the end of this gun. Folks, you need less than just enough to get underneath the surface of the skin. People ask in another video, how much pressure do you apply when you're tattooing? Well, you only need to apply enough pressure to break the skin, to get underneath the skin and lay that ink in there. A tattoo gun is relentless. I mean, this thing is gonna pound ink into your skin. You can really tear yourself up with something like this if you're not careful. So always make sure that you have a very, very small amount of needle hanging out the end of this gun, like that, okay? You can't even really see that. 
But I mean, it's just coming out enough to that you can you know that's going to get underneath the skin, and you're going to be able to lay that ink in there. All right. Keep that in mind when you're doing this tattooing work, folks. We've put this thing together, and we know it works. It works. So now, if we were going to be ready to tattoo right now, we would hook that up like so and tape that together. I'm going to go ahead and show you that real quick. I'm going to take a good amount of tape. I'm going to start down at the bottom around the battery housing. Get that on there secure like that. Put that bad boy right there like so. Start the tape running around the actual gun. And voila, folks. We taped the back of it. It's going to stay running until we untape it. But, nonetheless, we have made a tattoo gun out of an electric toothbrush. Not the prettiest damn thing ever. Not something I would like to tattoo with because you can't turn it on or off. But, we made it. What do you think? Pretty awesome, right? And you can always keep this to, you know, brush your teeth with a little spare toothbrush if you ever run out of a toothbrush. But that's it, folks. Tattoo gun out of an electric toothbrush. She's pretty damn sturdy, too. So, hope you found this video useful. If you did, please leave a like and also a comment. Let me know exactly what you think. If you haven't done so yet, please subscribe to After Prison Show. I've got a ton of awesome content coming. More vlogs, more tattooing videos. And if you have any questions, I'll try to answer them to the best of my ability. I really appreciate you taking the time to check this video out. And until next time, enjoy life, the free world. Never take a moment for granted and make the most of every day.